What's up everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> you already know how we do it. <laughs> but okay y'all. So anyways, today what I'm going to be doing is a talk to Mo session. This is going to be a weekly thing. Yes, you heard it here first. Weekly. We're going to be in it bit air week. You're so air week. Air week. You're a new guest every single week. We gonna do new topics, new questions. We gonna get males, females, people from the LGBTQ community, everybody. I want everybody's perspective. This gonna be lit, all right? And it's called Talk To Mo. So my first special guest is my cousin and my best friend. Introduce yourself. Hey y'all, my name is Jasmine and I am 24 years old and I'm from Del High, Louisiana, North Louisiana. You don't know what is that? <laughs> right, what is it? <laughs> what is that? But anyway, so Jasmine gave y'all a little introduction. We about to get right into it. So every week when I invite a random guest on, I'm gonna ask a random question. You ready for your question, Dad? Hmm, go ahead. If Trey Songz paid you to have his child and also reassured you that the child would be set for life, would you accept the offer? Trey Songz. Trey Songz. Couldn't be Chris Brown? Trey Songz. <laughs> um. <laughs> I guess if he paid me, yeah. You what, said, what's wrong with Trey Songs? No, no, I just. Why I said it couldn't have been Chris Brown? I don't know. <laughs> I just. I feel the same way. I feel the same way. <laughs> Sorry, Trey Songs. I don't know. I just don't know the man like that. I know Chris Brown, though. All right, bet, bet. That's a fair <laughs> answer. So now that we got our little random question out the way, y'all, we're going to get into the <laughs> nigger. So the first question is how long. It's too long to wait for somebody to propose. How long is too long? While you thinking of your answer, I'm going to give y'all mine. Mm. <laughs> Think your face. So, I feel like three to four years is too long to be waiting on somebody to pull out the ring. Now, let me tell y'all my explanation. Mm -hmm. I feel like a year in the first year you should be getting to know that person like it takes a long time to get to know somebody so you shouldn't rush that so i feel like that first year should be you getting to know that person and then the second year should be you trying to figure out like can i see myself with this person for the rest of my life you know and i mean if it gets to year three that's fine now year four is pushing it for me, year four is pushing it, but it also depends on age. Because if y'all been together since high school, of course, you don't have to propose to her and when you're 20, you know. So, it do depend on age, too. So, what you think, Jazz? Mm -hmm. I guess it depends on your living situation, for one. Yeah, well, at, well, not living, but financial situation, for one. Mm -hmm. I think that will play a part in a lot of people's choices. But I think three to four years too, because I feel like if you know you want to be somebody, you would know. So, and I feel like you would know before four years is old. You know, before four years, at least two, and definitely not eight. That's way too long. Child. No, I just recently had a coworker tell me somebody she about to get married to somebody who didn't propose to her till after like eight years, and I was like, I hope she don't watch this. No, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's tea. <laughs> Talk to Mo. I was like, okay, yikes. But, he, yeah, just like, not saying that's nothing bad because he probably could have been in school. He kinda, you know, he probably could have been doing a lot. But I think, like, it's it, circumstantial. Yeah. All right, so the next question How long should you make him wait for sex? <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay. 
Okay. I feel like it's with both of y'all already. Okay. Mm-hmm. The cliche answer. So are y'all ready after an hour? Go! <laughs> <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> so, okay. Well, not that literal, but <laughs> you okay. know you know what I mean. I feel like that's that's like a very That depends on the people. Yeah, because at the end of the day, you could have a one night stand with somebody and marry them. So Yeah, I heard those stories. Yeah, so it's it's kinda like it depends because some men feel like, oh, she one night, uh-uh, she ain't wife material. They all, they automatically put you in another category that ain't in the wifey category, if you know what I mean. So, you know, it really just depends. Like I say, it could be the, the one night stand, you get married, and then you could you could make a man wait for a year. And, and not get married. <laughs> exactly, and he dogging you and doing this, doing that. So it's it's really that's a, that's a tricky question. Um, you got anything else to say on that question? Mm-hmm. All right. So, if you dated yourself, what would be the biggest problem in the relationship? Mm-hmm. If you were somebody else that was dating you, what would you not like about you? Um, maybe the emotional part. The emotional part. Okay. Yeah, but I feel like it's every female though. <laughs> um, for me, it would probably be. You already know. I don't know. Tell them. <laughs> um, I guess it would probably be because I'm opinionated and I'm outspoken, so I'm going to tell you how I feel about something. So I'm pretty sure that would probably be a big problem. But you know, that's just me. So you will argue with yourself. Yeah. Oh, me and me going toe to toe. Oh. <laughs> That argument will never end. <laughs> I swear, bro. I swear. But, all right. That's all the questions that I have. So, the first um segment of Talk to Mo, I didn't want to go too long just because I want to get y'all's feedback. I want to know if y'all think I should add more questions, if it's too long, how long y'all would like for it to be. I kind of want to get the opinions of my subscribers. So y'all let me know exactly what you want to know, what you want to hear, what topics you want to see, who you want to be on the show, everything, okay? Talk to Mo, baby. Don't talk to me, talk to Mo. Talk Talk to Mo. Okay. <laughs> so yeah, I will definitely be back next week. Hopefully on Wednesday I will be dropping another video with a new special guest and there will be more questions, another random question, another more tea. random T. More T. T. T, honey. Yeah. <laughs> that tea a little bit too hot. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah let me know exactly what y'all think let me know what y'all like what y'all don't like boom constructive criticism i'm here for it but i really hope y'all enjoyed this talk to most segment and i will definitely be back okay telling people bye Peace. deuces your period pool <laughs> what <laughs>